this. Skittles versus Ape Man. Apparently he's got a villager. This is actually, I think, a matchup I feel like villager could do pretty solid just because he's able to take away things like Gyro and Beam. Yeah, Pac is pretty useful in this match too. Yeah, yeah. I would say. He can um, also kind of juggle Rob a little bit since he's so big. And if Rob goes low, that bowling ball is uh, not gonna <laughs> not gonna be fun for Ape Man. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, neutral air from Villager does have a quite a lasting hitbox as well. Oh, excellent second jump there, Trish. Trying to mix it up slowly here. Ooh, Ooh I like the Lloyd Rocket little... to stop yeah. the back air. That was cool. Smart play, smart play. I think if he's close enough to Villager when that happens too, the explosion of the Lloyd actually is really strong as well. Kind of a funny little thing Villager can do. Good recovery from Ava Man. He actually hugged the wall as close as he could to avoid getting caught by the bowling ball. Yeah, that's the best thing you can do, honestly, if you're recovering low. And Rob's usually tend to recover pretty low. Huh, not even the starting frames of back air coming out yet. Gotta say, really uh, impressed with Skittles Villagers so far. I guess I shouldn't be super surprised that he has a decent Villager, being so good with uh, Young Link. Okay, tree at the ledge. Ooh, nice catch. Yeah, that's tree is pretty similar to Gyro in the fact that it can force a lot of uh, panic options from the ledge as well. Yeah. Villager oh. can abuse that too. Crazy thing about tree too is it has health. I, I can't remember how much health it has, but it, there's a lot of health. I think it's like something like 60 health. So you actually like strength side. It forces a lot of options there, but also it's a really good defensive tool at the ledge. And it also gives you access to a very strong tool that is axe. Okay, there's the up smash out of shield. Ape Man's been really relying on, on that to get a lot of kills this tournament so far. Either out of the down throw or just getting out of shield or calling out a jump. Pretty uh versatile kill move. <laughs> Honestly. I'll say so myself. Oh, that was good. That was Ooh. good. Because he would have reflected a forward air. And then he would have reflected a Lloyd if he tried to go forward a little bit lower. Great read there from Ape Man. Yeah. Yo, One am thing, I crazy? Uh, Did I just see Rob go over Lloyd with just forwarder? That's wild. I'm sorry. Oh, tough Ooh, spot too. No tough tech. Spot, no tech too. Yeah, AV Man was literally just waiting for him to start doing his up B. So he's like, cool, you're a sitting duck. I can throw out whatever I want <laughs> to, to hit you right now. That's the one thing when you're a character like Rob who can go so deep off stage in this type of matchup. Like, Villager's recovery is just asking to be hit. So you have to take advantage whenever you see the opportunity. Yeah, most definitely. Good pressure with down tilt. That's a lot of shield damage. Parry, nice. Forward smash punish, good knockback. Gets him off the stage here, and that's enough for Ape Man to kind of go low, which we saw the Robo Arms. Starting frames of forward smash, not enough. Whoa, oh. that was uh, that was kind of scary there for Ape Man. It's got two stock lead oh. now. Jab lock? Oh, oh they get up invincibility. Dang, unfortunate. He mistimed okay. it. I think he only did one jab too. I think he could have did two jabs to make it a little bit easier. Yeah. All right, Ape Man at the ledge. I like that. He waits for the Lloyd Rocket. Doesn't want to overextend himself by jumping because he could get hit by a forward air and then lose the stock like that. Yeah, he's taking his time to come back on the stage. That's an up air. Nice. Enough time to land. <laughs> Wow, he really didn't, like, he stalled so long off stage that, uh, Skittles didn't even think of trying to go for the bowling ball. Yeah. Okay, Ape Man, back center stage here. 133 to 156, and the Oh, he punished the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> he actually punished him for pocketing the gyro. Dang. That was catch. good, too. You know why? Because if he didn't pocket the gyro, it was going to hit him, forcing him to go low. And then even if he did pocket the gyro, like you said, right, he punished him for it. So it's kind of like, okay, I want you to pocket because that gives me time to actually go for Robo Arms. In which that case, that's how Ape Man was able to win that one. Yeah. I was wondering too, um, 
if Abeman has any moves he could do to like actually punish uh, Skittles for trying to pocket his stuff, because I think it's similar to how he was fighting Adamus with the inhale. He's like, okay, I'm gonna use this projectile and uh, just be in a range where even if they pocket it, I can hit him for doing that. Yeah, is it, is it time for the Young Link already? I don't know. I think Skittles sees he has a best of five. Like, maybe you want to try some different characters for a little bit. I know he's done this, like, before. Yeah. He's got time, dude. I don't like you, like said, sir. Best of five. You can always experiment a little bit. The Villager didn't work out that well, but I could see the Young Link definitely being the better pick. Ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The devil, the young, Link, young Link's here already. Oh, did he just leave? Hmm? Oh, what happened? <laughs> I thought he was changing character or something. Yeah. Or stage. What? What is he saying in the chat? I can't look. I'm not an admin. Um, oh. I don't know. He's... Oh, Abeman's stream went down. Oh no, he might have lost signal. Oh man, his Wi-Fi might have gone down. Oh no. Right. Well, oh no, I mean... Lauren, Lauren, do you know what happened? Please, his stream died for real. Know. Oh damn. So he he just doesn't have any time to get back online. I guess this might just take a long time for him to come back. I think his dad kicked the router. <laughs> I hope. That's what? what I hope his dad kicked the router. Dan. Uh, I don't know how much longer we should wait for this. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna wait for a little bit, about six minutes, and then we'll see how things go. Man, that sucks. Especially since he won the first game. Like, imagine yeah. like he he actually won and then he loses because his online's gone. Dude, that's what hurts, man. His online was gone. And he was doing really good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Ape Man is. Oh, he got his net back. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, he's coming back. Oh, he's, he's back. back. He's back. Oh, he's back. Snap. ladies and gentlemen, he's I was. Back. A I was about to, dang, I was really about to call it. Yeah, I think it's time to call it, guys. You know, Ape Man, he's gone. Everybody thank Lauren for helping for helping uh, keep Ape yeah, Man yeah. alive. Everybody shout say out. thanks. Yeah, shout out to Lauren, man. Shout out to her. Yeah, there's a lot of really good Min Min's um, offline in Japan already. Yeah, Salem is right. It takes about, you know, 15, 10 to 15 minutes for people's internet to be fixed in the match. So Salem has a point there. Anyways, without further delay, <laughs> 8 -bit Man versus Skittles game two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he uh, did the, the villager experiment with the first game. Didn't didn't go too well. So, uh, yeah, it's time to go the main against 8 -bit Man. And he's already very good at this matchup, too, so... I, I, don't, I don't blame him. <laughs> Alright, down to forward air. Yeah, this is going to be a completely different matchup, especially. Uh, just because Young Link can cover up differently. Uh, we've seen how Skittles does it. We've seen how you got all Young Links do it. You can cover specific get-ups there with Bomb if you Z-drop it, and then either Boomerang, forward air, Zer, you name it, man. Specifically, it's going to be good against Rob because Rob coming back from the stage can be either very, very predictable or very, very rough. It all depends on how things go down. Specifically for Ape Man because he's really good at either mixing it up or stalling. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it's just the combination of um, Young Link's aerials and his projectiles versus Rob is just so good for him. 
even there, you just saw Rob tries to start his gyro and he just immediately gets sniped by the arrow. Exactly. The fact that the arrow win. also lead to kills and combos for, for Youngling is very good for him. And not just arrow, man. We're talking about boomerang as well. You can boomerang forward there with Youngling. And it can give you some pretty good options. But at that situation, for skills specifically, Ooh. arrow was so good because it still gives him stage control. It doesn't. It's not a follow-up anymore, right? But he's still got the stage to work with. Unfortunately, though, Ape Man is going to get the up smash here at 177. Still living. Yeah, Ape Man is uh, the up smash master right now. Oh, it's like, cross me up, hit my shield, it don't matter. I got rage, I I'm throwing this move out. So, uh, yeah, well, it looked really good for skills. Uh, suddenly, Ape Man working with that stock lead until he got kicked <laughs> off the stage. But, uh, yeah, now it's, now it's an even match instead of a heavily in skills favor match. Mm hmm Excellent upper and catching Ape Man going for the jump off the center platform. Make this man reevaluate his getup options, man. Ooh, nice arrow trap. Ooh, no down tilt. Gonna lead to the kill here yet, but I think he might still be able to get down tilt up B at this percent. Especially at the ledge right here. Yeah. 160 here on Ape -Bit. Good patience though. Doesn't want to let go of shield. Doesn't want to overcommit to coming back on stage. So scary with the down smash though. That's Ooh, stock. the yep, tip that's Wow, that is such an early kill. Aiden Man is like living so long, but then he just gets like these one strong move. He just banks on the rage and like, stealing these stocks right back. Yeah, good, good for him to toss the gyro. Like I said, oh, forward air. What a good call out. What a good call out. He took the time to say, you know, if you want to toss gyro, that's fine. I can go off stage here and get the forward air with you on the pop line. Yeah, Skills is uh, trying to get these revenge stocks as quick as possible. Doesn't want Ape Man to build in his lead too much. Mm -hmm. Oh. Rar okay. back air. Nice. This is kind of like the second one, which would have been good to keep Ape Man off stage and then possibly try to go for an up B. We've seen some younglings go for it, but it's really, really difficult to do. Down throw. Nice. Excellent up right here. What a good follow up. Usually, it's pretty true for oh. a lot of for Young Link. Nice. Ape it Man, please land here. Nice. Start to hold the stage, giving him time. Back at the ledge yet again. Center stage control. Yeah, that's what Ape Man is looking for here. That's the name of the game, specifically because you know Young Link is going to be trying to definitely take a lot of that control with fire arrows, as you see here. Oh, you can even just hit the gyro back with his projectiles, too. That's actually really good Which is for. Nice. Uh, Skittles. <gasps> okay, that was scary. That was scary. He bought himself time with fire arrow to come back at the ledge. Forward arrow? Missed opportunity here. Nope, no grab either. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, the and then yep. Yeah, it's just enough. Man, it's like so good for Yelling to always be able to rely on that Nair to get a kill, too. This is so fast. Dude, both Young Link and Link Link have like excellent nares. I almost feel like sometimes they're actually slept on. Like low key. Like people don't like people think of like great nares in the game. I think Young Link and Link have like two of easily one of some of the best nares. Uh you think there's people that sleep on their nair? I, I, I think, think I most think people like people. complain about Young Link and Link's Young nair. Link nair. I don't see a lot of people uh, Link Nair. I see okay, to be fair, I've had people complain about Link Nair. Yeah, it's it's crazy, what? <laughs> It was so good. There was a time when people were like, T literally just wins matchups off of Link Nair. Dude, it's Fox. You know what's the crazy part about T though? Out of all the Link mains, he is the least technical Link main and he, because he relies a lot on having a very, very strong neutral and good punish game. I think that's what makes T so different. It was like, there's a lot of Link mains who are super technical, but uh, T isn't as technical as some of the other ones, and he just has excellent neutral. Yeah. Sometimes uh, the fancy stuff isn't always necessary. Most definitely. Definitely take you really far. Yeah. But time things up 1-1. One, one. Skill is definitely looking much better with the young Link over <laughs> the villager, as you would expect. <laughs> Starts off with the... Uh... Rob or the Fox main classic, just go for laser. Get that sneaky percent in.
Yeah, mainly what we see in this uh, match so far is uh, Baby Man just takes so much damage and you know has some trouble winning neutral a lot. But if uh, Skills can't safely secure the kill, he can just really um, steal these stocks back. So uh, I think Skills just needs to continue to stay safe when he does have a lead like this and not really try to fish you out for the kill. Because uh, Baby Man can turn around super quick. Yeah. Oh, cut this man rolling in. You gotta respect it though. He doesn't want to be out of the ledge. Nice last nice. through the back air with a quick confirm boomerang. Oh, missed the fire arrow. Would have been crucial though. Yeah, very close to uh, getting that combo. Would have been very oh. good for him. What? Yo, that was nuts. That was nutty. Ooh. That was nutty. That was nutty. This man got hit by Gyro on accident, and then he got full combo and lost the stock. <laughs> I mean. David Man's already shown no matter where the gyro is on stage, he's like ready to follow up if he gets the hit. That's so true, man. It's either close to him, far from him, around him, you know, center stage. He will find an excellent way to come off it. I kind of want to, like... See, the thing Ooh. about Ape Man 2 is when he goes for those lasers, he usually go for like, like an anti-air opportunity or a calling out from the shield. Oh. Usually to call out Young Link's jump from shield with neutral air, but I kind of want to see him start angling the laser just because you can angle it and still hit the ground and then also hit Young Link who tries to go for a jump. Just the same way you see Link throw boomerang downwards like so. Down throw. Nice snipe here for Abe Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's waiting for him to. Yeah, he's waiting for him. <gasps> nice, you still the bomb. Yeah, it would have shield. It would have actually shield broken. There was a lot of damage there. Order, that's a stock. Ooh, Good no, we're late. Great DI. Okay. Great DI, high ceiling. That's tough for Ape Man too, because he already got hit off the ledge. I'm gonna get hit off again. He can't re grab the ledge. Smart for him not to go back for it too. Oh. Oh, There's the there again. He just, he just walked up to him too. No shield. No, you know, I'm not, not trying to dash dance. When all else fails, just kick him. <laughs> oh, up throw? Nah. Yeah, that's good too. He that for specifically for Young Link and his weight. Like, there's no situation there where up, down throw up air wasn't going to necessarily work because of the percent. I, that was actually really interesting for me. I can't really say those played a factor. But it was good on Ape and Men to just go for it. Oh, that's big. That's a big corner carry. Yeah, it could have been much worse if he was able to um, chain the, air, the edge guard with it as well. Ooh. Preemptive spot dodge too, that's so that's almost punishable, but Ape it man back on the stage. Once again, see see what I'm saying here. Is he goes for the anti-air laser, but he aimed it on the ground. It would have been good. But unfortunately, Ooh. wow, that is just enough. Carrying him just to the side of the lasso. Man, I never expect uh Link's up B to just be so strong to kill like that, but it definitely is. That was a super solid uh, combo from from Skittles there. Yeah. Getting the drag down fair into the down tilt like that. Yeah, I think that's super good against Rob too, because he's so big that it's like very unlikely that he'll fall out of that up B, no matter which part he gets hit by. So yeah, Abin man, he's uh he got that win on the villager, but hasn't been able to secure a dub on that that young link just yet. Even though he's playing really well, he's just not able to clutch it out at the end, unfortunately. If this is losers finals, who's in grand finals, buddy? Vinny G, the snake man. Yeah, Vinny G uh is the one that sent Skittles to the losers bracket. Pretty convincing 3-0, I may add. 
So uh, he's looking really good uh, in the grand finals right here. But let's see if AB Man has something to say about that. If he even gets a chance to face Vinny G, because right now, feels really working with this momentum right here. Okay. Nice ledge trapping using the aerials combined with the bomb. Ooh. Yeah, not enough to kill, but man, look at the percent he's at. And he's yet to get to center stage. He's been here for quite some time. But, opportunity. Oh, he just lets him come back. Wow. I'm kind of surprised about that. I thought he would apply a lot more pressure at the ledge since he finally got stage control versus Skittles. Barely avoiding the bomb, but... Oh, man. He avoided one bomb just to run into another one. Skittles is just right there, ready to follow up. Yeah. Kind of crazy, too. We haven't seen... I mean, I'm not thinking about it really quick. We haven't seen Skittles quite some time at MSM Online. We've usually seen other players, like, specifically Alpha. But it's been a minute been a minute since we've seen Skittles as a young one come in here. But Ooh. even with an excellent call and against the downer with the up smash... Yeah, he's been really on point at landing that move in uh, multiple scenarios, but especially if he knows they're going to land on top of him. Definitely what he needed to stay in this, because the Skittles is just uh, looking really good. Just shutting down Rob right here. Forward air? Nice. Oh, that would have been good too, because if he if it would have been a tech situation at the platform, it would have been excellent, but not enough percentage there in this situation. <sighs> Tough trade there on Ape Man, because... Skittles knows to get that fire arrow in. Back up the ledge again. Skittles has been really strong in this position. Forward air. Oh, close. Last oh, hit of the arms. Arm Can he get this stock? <gasps> no, nope. Barely missing the back. But, but he does get back to the ledge. Get a little bit percent with the up air as well. Ooh, oh. Try to see if he can snipe him out of the earth. That back air, but a little bit too much startup. Down smash? No. Oh my go goodness, he's kick. There it is, there it is, there it is. I was gonna say, I, I can probably predict the down smash there. Cause it's got a good angle and a good arc. I'm sorry, good arc overall. That's how wide it is. Nope, no back air for Aben, man. Not able to use these gyros that much either because of that projectile. Just sending the gyro right back in his face, but the oh. greedy up smash gets punished. And it's good too, because you see, he knows like Skittles is gonna go for a new oh. shield. <laughs> At that situation, or jumping forward, and he wanted to call that out, but at that situation, Skillos has held the shield a little bit longer. Until he just lands right into another up smash anyway. But here's the jab block oh. mm -hmm. to the Big. forward smash. He's been really consistent at getting that, actually. I don't think he's missed a single jab block when he gets a tech chase scenario like that. Yeah. Actually pretty good for him. Oh. That nair cross oh, up so good. Facing the wrong direction with fire arrow. That you can tell even man is definitely feeling the pressure yeah i mean is potentially on his uh, last stock of this tournament if he doesn't make something happen but definitely not too far behind like only or actually he's like up by one percent so he got hit there but uh he can definitely still win this game he just has to continue to play safe almost gets hit by that second forward air Nice pressure on the shield. Ooh, Ooh, he chased him down. Barely living, though. Does Is not control the gyro, the gyro though. Is he yeah. gyro? Nice, oh. he goes for the throw. Oh, man, there's so much pressure with these projectiles. Nice, okay. he's got a little bit of time with the gyro. Holding shield, good. He doesn't want to jump. He doesn't want to go for anything on the, where the fire can hit him. In a rough spot, though. Skills continuing to pressure the ledge with these projectiles. <gasps> the fourth throw is just enough to kill. Oh. That fourth throw buff coming in clutch, man. But yeah, great stuff, great stuff for Skittle. Oh, that was so much pressure at the ledge. It's so difficult for him to get back to center with the boomerang, the bomb, the arrow, the, the aerials. Like so many things were just getting thrown at him.